Hi, welcome to 3D Animation Exam. I am Autodesk Maya online teacher. Today we shall see how to make a teacup using bridge tool. Okay, let's start. Go to front viewport. Uh, keep the main axis in the view. Go to create curve tools, CV curve tool. Use quick snap. Draw carefully. Vertices should have even spaces in between. Should be double layered. Once it's done, press enter. Go to surfaces. Revolve settings around Y axis and segments should be 36. Polygons, control points, revolve. Normals are now facing inwards, that is why it's black. Select the curve, go to curves menu, apply reverse direction. Now normals are facing outwards. Hide the curve. Rename it as teacup. We are going to create the handle. For that, we are going to use circular components. Go to face mode. Select the four faces in the top portion. And press shift and right click. Apply circular components. Change alignment to surface per vertex. Do the same thing in the below lower portion too. Press hold shift, right click, circular components. Now we have to delete the faces inside the circle. See that any other faces are not selected. We delete it. Now go to edge mode. Select the edges, go to ed edit mesh, extrude. In the translate, local translate Y, type 0.3, and do the same for the lower portion edges also. Edit mesh, extrude, local translate Y, 0.3. Now Let's apply and see bridge to go to edit mesh bridge switch on smooth path curve custom source target divisions it can be added later also now apply bridge you will see the handle is being created and along with the handle a curve is also being created. You can go to component mode and edit the curve and change the shape of the handle. Whatever shape you want, you can change it. Do it carefully. See that you are not selecting the vertices of the T curve. So you are selecting only the curves vertices and modifying it. Okay, I feel this is okay. Go to shade mode and see. Right. Now we shall add um, what is this here? Edges here.
make some modification go to mesh tools use slide edge this also slide right it will scale it up okay here also do the same thing slide the edge mesh tool slide edge make it little bigger okay now we can apply smooth and see yeah it's looking nice okay now we can create the saucer go to wireframe mode create curve tools cv curve tool use grid snap should be double layer I press enter go to surfaces and apply the ball segments be 16 not more than that apply mesh smooth add divisions to 2 can check it now if you feel like you want to reduce the shape go to wireframe mode still modeling relation option is there available make it small ok I feel this is ok want to make it even more small you can do that this is ok for me you can hide the curve and apply edit delete by type history because we don't need histories anymore the model is finished now we need to apply shaders Go to Windows Rendering Editors, Hypershade, Create, and all Shader Surface, a standard surface. Double click on it. First, we have to apply it. So, select both of them and assign material to selection. Now, you double click on the shader and you will see the attribute. I would like to apply blue. Okay, this is okay for me. Now add 0.1 in the metalness and uh, 1.6 in the index of reflection. Roughness is 0.1. Coat is 0.6 and ok now we have to create a light go to Arnold area light scale it up this is the vector it should face the cup you can make it even more bigger go to its attribute switch off the normalize and increase the specular to 2 
you have to create a flow go to front view and we have to position the saucer also followed by the plane rename the plane as floor and this as saucer okay now we have created the shader and applied it floor is clear created light is also created now we need camera so let's create camera panels perspective view rename it as camera go to its attribute open output settings switch on the renderable display options display resolution on mask opacity 1 mask color 0 save action save title over scan 1.5 now the camera is set can render and see now it has come out nice Okay, rendering is done. Once it's done, you can use the stop button. Otherwise, it will keep updating. Now, go to perspective, see the mesh, and check. So, okay, guys, that's it for today. You can visit my website 3danimationagnar.com to know more about my online classes and YouTube links. Please subscribe my channel to see more videos on Maya software. Thanks for being with me. Cheers.